a letter to Mr. Trump. Uh, Mr. Trump, uh, will you enslave the ones who wish to enslave us? The Sola Koran followers of the false prophet by removing them from the commodities markets by seizing OPEX oil? <sighs> or are you one of the ones behind uh, John F. Kennedy assassination? And you will persecute the Pope and the Church of Christ. I hope you defend Christianity and the citizens of the year 2017. I hope you deliver us from Sharia law with its boot on the throat of the commodity of commodities of the world markets and its currency. I hope you remove the leadership from OPEC and give us abundant gaseous, like gas, gaseous, and electric, electric energy from water, H2O. I hope we innovate and become a great nation once again. I hope you don't persecute the Pope and the Church. For if you do, then you're one of the ten. And America will suffer, as Our Lady of Fatima says. I hope and I pray Christians outside the Pope and the Church awake like Saulo of Tarsus to become Saint Paul. I pray to you, O oh Lord, to bless Mr. Trump with the blessing of Saulo of Tarsus. Like he be, may he be like Saint Paul and defend us from error and evil. God bless America. I pray for you, Mr. Trump. I, I want you to be one of us. The Christian Church. Year 2017. We have had too much already. God bless America. Thank you. I just want to know who am I going to bear arms? for and defend the nation for. Thank you. Uh, a busy God night uh, from the year 718 in Spain. We crown King Don Pelayo in our resistance against the Moors in Spain, the Sharia law people that invaded our land for 700 years, until, thanks to Isabella Católica and Fernando, his, her, her beloved Jewish convert husband to Catholicism, Felipe de Castilla. And we got rid of the Moors with a, a a very exquisite, exquisite elegance by Her Majesty, Queen uh, Isabella Catholic. God bless America. 